So, let's see. Did you get an, ah, there we go. So the recording has started. So this meeting is now being recorded, everyone. Okay, so welcome everybody. Thank you for joining um, this short session for cafe owners in Bondi around the Ditch the Cup campaign. Before we get into the content for today's session, I'd just like to acknowledge that Waverley Council operates on the Bidigal, Birabirigal and Gadigal uh, people's lands and I would like to pay my respect to Elders, uh, Aboriginal peoples, both past, present and emerging. And today we're talking about how we can care for Bondi Beach through reducing our waste and litter and I think it's important to be mindful that Aboriginal peoples have been caring for this country since time immemorial and we can take a lot of knowledge and learnings from that. So today what we're going to be talking a bit about is the Ditch the Cup campaign. We'll be talking about the Bondi cafes that are involved in this campaign. And then we're going to hear from Sondi Biram from Brew Coffee about effective ways to engage your staff in the lead up to BYO Cup Week. And we'll also hear from Alice Kendall from Pledge for the Planet about how to engage your community in BYO Cup Week as well. So I, my name is Eleanor Pratton and I'm the Sustainable Waste Officer at Waverley Council. And so we've partnered with Responsible Cafes, uh, Pledge for the Planet and Brew Coffee and the BYO Cup team to run this campaign. And essentially this came out of um, an increase in the litter that we noticed around Bondi Beach. So since the lift down of lockdown, we have enjoyed an influx of visitors uh, and community members to Bondi Beach, but COVID also brought with it um, an encouragement of the, the takeaway culture because people weren't able to, to dine in during that time. So this has put a lot of pressure on our bin infrastructure as well as um, our beaches. So our ranges and um, data from our litter audits have shown that there has been an increase in litter from takeaway beverage beverage containers and takeaway food containers around Bondi Beach. And a survey that we conducted a few months back showed that 90% of people in the Bondi area agree that litter from single use packaging is a problem at Bondi Beach. And they feel that the key challenges for people not using reusable alternatives is that it's not a habit for people. And there's a perception that reusable alternatives to single use packaging is not widely available. So we wanted to understand these key barriers um, to develop a campaign that would encourage the uptake of reusable cups and containers around Bondi Beach. So the Ditch the Cup campaign aims to break the takeaway habit that people develop during lockdown and make reusable alternatives for takeaway food and drinks more available to customers. So this was the approach that we went with um, and we partnered with, as I mentioned, uh, BYO Cup Team, Pledge for the Planet and Responsible Cafes to do this. So the aim of the Ditch the Cup campaign is how do we make reusable cups more convenient for customers and how do we increase the awareness and availability of reusable cups at Bondi Beach cafes. So to do this, Waverley Council has helped various cafes, participating cafes, set up a reusable cup scheme. A lot of you involved are doing mug libraries and some are doing loyalty stamp cards and container libraries, smoothie cup libraries. So we'll talk a bit about that in a minute. Then we also partnered with the BYO Cup Week team to help promote that community led initiative again this year. So from the 1st to the 10th of December, participating cafes will be encouraged to reduce or if possible, eliminate the use of single use cups. And Sunday will talk a bit more to that in just a moment. And the final piece of the puzzle for this campaign was to get customers involved to make a pledge to ditch the cup. And Alice will talk a bit more about that in just a minute. So there has been a good uptake from the cafes involved. Um, quite a few have, as I said, implemented new mug libraries or in the process of implementing new mug libraries. Some have loyalty stamp cards. 
Uh, Makuto is looking at a Husky swap and go fleet, which is really exciting. Uh, Brew Coffee, and Sunday might be able to talk about this, has also just implemented a container library and jars for smoothies. So there are a lot of initiatives um, being undertaken to make reusable cups and containers more convenient for customers in the Bondi Beach area. So I'll just hand over to Manon now to just share a bit about the Responsible Cafe map. Yeah, sure. So the map you can see has been displayed on Hello Bandai uh, website and essentially um, it just uh, shows you how big a phase are involved uh, in this trial. Um, so hopefully most of you have already uh, signed up as a responsible cafes and you've taken a survey that um, asks you about the amount of takeaway cups you serve a day, uh, whether they were single use cups or reusable cups. Um, and as well as all of the other um, efforts you've taken to reduce your waste. Um, this survey helps us to give you a bin rating that shows um, to the community um, whereabouts you are um, in regards to um, yeah, reducing the, um, the amount of um, single use packaging. Um, so yeah, the map helps, you, um, helps us to uh, shows that the cafes in the Bondi area that are going to be participants uh, in this trial and helps you to promote your efforts to the community. Cool, thanks Manon. Thanks. So essentially, to just give it a high, a high level overview of where we're at, on the 1st of November, you guys have set up your trial to make reusable cups more convenient. You've also hopefully got your profile on the Responsible Cafes map that Manon was just speaking to. And we launched the Pledge for the Planet, which is the, the initiative to enge engage your customers to make a pledge to ditch the cup. Bit of a mouthful, that one. So then from the 1st to the 10th of December is BYO Cup Week, and we're encouraging uh, participating cafes to say no to single use cups or at least try to reduce the use of single use disposable cups by promoting your reusable cup strategy. In January, we'll touch base again with you to see how your mug library or other strategies have gone and we can help you to adjust or adapt them to better suit your business. And then in February, we want to report on has this strategy been effective to reduce the use of single use cups and or containers by your customers. So I'll just hand over to Sondi now from Brew Coffee to talk a bit about what top ways to engage your staff in this journey, particularly in the lead up to BYO Cup Week? Um, I think personally, I think the best way um, to engage your staff really does come from the the owners of um, the cafes. It's up to it's really our responsibility to train them um, and to guide them through how to talk to to customers and. And also to, to not make people feel, um, I guess, bad if they it doesn't work for them. I mean, for us, personally, I had two people today, let's say, that it just didn't work for them. And you could see that it, you know, that that using one of our cups just didn't work for them today. And and to be able to say to, the, to, to customers, look, if it doesn't work for you today, it's absolutely fine. Come back another day when it does and enjoy a coffee. So it's finding that fine line between kind of standing your ground, but also being quite, you know, being flexible about it. So it really is, like I said, it's up to what to, to the owners, A, to, to believe in what you're what you're doing and standing your ground and just really do, like just talking it talking to your staff through it so engaging your staff is really like I said it comes down to the owner and um, believing in what you're doing um and yeah just taking them along it within the journey I don't really know how like how else to explain that to be honest yeah thanks Sunday one thing that I liked um that you did as well Sunday is when you train your new employees just the language you use around yeah. um single use cups I remember you told me that instead of saying yeah. takeaway cups you now use the language single use or disposable um, yeah do you have any uh, more like practical tips like that that people can start using yeah that's one of our biggest ones I guess we change we when we said takeaway people just you know, you think just you're taking it away. You don't really think that 
these are, are single use cups. We now say um, as well, because we, some people will kind of look at you a bit weird when you say single use cup. We now say as well, just to add to that, we kind of go, we don't have cups that you can throw away. Mm. So that really kind of makes people go, oh, okay, right, got it. And then they really will think about, you know, not taking that cup. Um, or not, you know, not using a single use cup. So yeah, it's that the single use thing for us or throw away cups. Um, or we, again, that's another thing we turn it around to, hey, if you've got five minutes, why not sit down and have your coffee here? And so many people kind of go, you know what, I do have five minutes here. I'll, I'll, you know, why not? I'll have it here. So just kind of changing their perception of that we're always in a rush. We've got to run. Well, more often than not, we really don't have to. Mm. So if you give people a few options, it will make them think. So that's probably the biggest thing is having a few options for people. Yep, great. And in mm. terms of how to make your mug library a success, do you have any tips in terms of how, you know, I know you reach out to your community sometimes to drop off spare mugs or donate mm. spare mugs. Is there anything like that that... Um, people who are setting up a mug library now can think about for the next couple of weeks? Yeah, look, I, um, it's definitely talking to, again, to your customers saying that, you you know, trying to set up a mug library and if, it, especially at the moment, so many people are moving or selling or so people are going through their cupboards and, you know, throwing those at away recently you know we had a customer that saw like a whole heap of glasses just sitting on a fence he sent me a photo and said would you like these and I'm like yes absolutely bring them you know bring them over and he did so I, I think again going to your local Vinnies or Salvos whatever you've got close by um, and form relationships with those um, you know stores um, the one in Bondi for us is amazing they actually anything that they don't put out to the uh, to the shelves, they actually call us every few weeks and say that they've got some boxes that of cups that they're not going to use. And all it is is normally with Vinnie's is a fifteen dollar donation. I certainly give more, but at least you know it's a fifteen dollar donation. That's all you really have to do. Um, so it's just yeah, forming those relationships with your customers and just saying, look, you know, if you've got any cups at home, um, yeah, bring them down. You know, yeah. And so now you've moved away from single use altogether. You don't have any single use coffee cups, which is awesome. Can you um, talk a little bit about the savings that you've seen in actually like bottom line um, financial oh, savings? Yeah, look, um, ama amazing. Um, and it's, it's it kind of flows through to, again, the, the, the rubbish as well or the, or the collections. So for us, um, we would save anywhere between um, – at a, at, a, at a minimum, you know, let's say $600 a week at a maximum, you know, when you're really full on summer and it's going nuts, anywhere up to a $1,000 a week. And that's just because we are essentially a takeaway cafe. That's our DA. Um, so, um, yeah, anywhere from, like I said, five to $600 minimum, 1000 maximum a week. Um, and then on top of that, what, what it saved is that, we now have totally pushed, like pulled back on our bin collections because we don't have all that, all those cups to, to throw away. So um, really all we're, um, most of our rubbish now is compostable. So we get a compost bin picked up every couple of days and the rest is, like I said, we probably have two, two pickups instead mm -hmm. of four, four to five pickups we used to have a week to now two. Yep, that's awesome. So that saved a lot as well. So, yeah. Great. Well, thanks, mm. Sunday. I think, I mean, you've definitely painted the picture that there's the there's the financial incentive, but also obviously protecting our local area, connecting with your community yeah. um, and doing the right thing by the planet. So thank you so much for sharing okay. that. Thank you. Can I just say one thing really quickly? I know some, you know, there'll be cafes listening to this, but, and I know that a lot a lot of cafes sometimes are scared that, um, golly, if I don't have, you know, a, a single-use cup, then they'll just go down the road. Mm -hmm. And you know what? They might go down the road for a couple of times, but eventually you, you will go, they will come back. 
they'll come back because a they like your cafe they like you they come back for you and they'll work around that so and for a couple that you might lose you gain so many amazing people that are like-minded and that you just enjoy having there because you yeah so it's a bigger picture there really is yeah and I think to that point too the more cafes that we can get on board this BYO Cup week and reducing their reliance on single use I guess the less that will happen as well yeah. because it's just going to become standard at Bondi and Bondi cafes will be known for being leaders in that space too yeah, yeah. cool thanks Sunday pleasure Okay, I'm just going to hand over to Alice now from Pledge for the Planet to talk a little bit about how to engage your customers um, in the lead up to BYO Cup Week with the Pledge platform that we've created. Yeah, cool. So um, I'm Alice from Pledge for the Planet and what we are doing for um, Ditch the Cup has creating a platform for customers to be able to make their pledge um, and they can either pledge to ditch takeaway cups or ditch takeaway food containers um, and in doing that we can track how many pledges people are making and the collective impact that everybody in the community will have by taking part in um, ditch the cup so what that means is there's posters in your cafes, I believe, that um, Elle and Julianne have delivered to you. And on those posters, there's one that says, make your pledge to ditch the cup. And in the corner of one of those, there is a QR code. And when your customers scan that QR code, they will come to the Hello Bondi page. And on that page, they will be able to make their pledge. Um, and by making their pledge, they'll enter a competition um, and they'll be able to win some lovely prizes, which incentivizes them to um, only use responsible cafes during this time. So cafes that have mug libraries and um, non-single use options available for them. Um, we have run a few different community events in the past and um, we find that engaging people by making a pledge helps them change that mindset and helps them change their behavior and sort of holds them to that. So um, it's a great thing to encourage your customers um, who are coming in regularly to do and new faces as well, because it sort of incentivizes them to come back to your cafes to be able to use um, your mug libraries or your single use alternatives. Um, so yeah, I guess from an engagement perspective, um, just encourage people to um, make a pledge, tell them what it's all about, um, and it'll be really exciting in you know a month's time to have a look at these numbers and see how many of the community have engaged and how many takeaway cups and food containers that's helped us helped us to save. And we also have a cafe leaderboard, so. I mentioned the QR codes on the bottom of your posters. They are actually all um, individual. So every time somebody scans that QR code, we know which cafe that's come from. Um, so we can have a nice little friendly competition between everybody, um, all the cafes. Um, and we'll be promoting this on our socials. I'm sure Waverly Council and Responsible Cafes will be as well. So it's a great way to get promotion for your cafe um, and to engage your customers to take part in the initiative. Great, thanks, Alice. So this is obviously early days and um, hopefully <laughs> we'll see a lot uh, more poster scans over the coming weeks as you start promoting it to your customers. Cool, so our ask from you as a cafe owner then is to complete the setup of your reusable cup strategy. So whether that's a mug library, a loyalty card system, a Husky swap and go fleet and to get your staff on board. And the next thing then is to start promoting um, promote that strategy to your customers and promote the pledge so that they can take ownership in reducing the single use waste from cups and containers. And then prepare for BYO Cup Week. So talk to your staff and your um, customers that BYO Cup Week is coming up. We're going to be reducing or hopefully eliminating all single use cups and or containers during that week so that they can prepare for that week and they're not taken by surprise on the 1st of December. And then we'd love to hear about your journey um, to reduce single use cups. And I'll be sending out a short survey 
or coming around to the cafes in February to get a bit of an update on how your reusable cup or container strategy went and how you went during BYO Cup Week. So that was all we had in terms of content. I hope you got a little bit out of it and hopefully I will see a bit of data around the pledges over the coming weeks. So good luck with all of that. Thanks so much and thanks Responsible Cafes, Sondi and Pledge for the Planet for joining today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>